guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I got my Daenerys Targaryen, aka Khaleesi, aka Mother of Dragons. Also, I'm sure you clicked on this video for some juice. My viewers would like to say hello to you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give them a little Danny John kiss? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, if you want to see our full costumes, we'll get into that right now really quick. What do you want to do? Conquer Westeros. Conquer Westeros with me, my queen. I don't know what you want me to do, darling. You know what I want you to do. That's right, bend the knee. Oh, watch my toe. Go find my dragons! <laughs> Alright guys, so I will go ahead and link all of our costumes, my wig down below. However, I will say mine I got on eBay and it did take a while, so I don't think you'll be able to make it in this Halloween. Sorry about that, but just if you're curious where I got it. I got mine on Amazon. <laughs> Um, it was like... Yours uh, came fast, huh? Yeah, it was like, well, <laughs> I ordered mine on Amazon Prime, so it was a little faster, but... Yeah, but, but yeah. then I ordered the sword separately on Amazon also. Um, Painted the, this with fingernail polish. Yeah, but the costume came with this, the leather piece, and then this with the straps on it too, so... And then I bought this out. Where'd you get your wig? I got my wig on Amazon. It's actually, it was really, really cheap. Oh, and uh, it's really good quality. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Do Jon Snow's voice. Daenerys. Daenerys. Yes. <laughs> you tried to trick he me. <laughs> you tried to trick me. Drogon Dracarys. <laughs> All right, guys. So yeah, this is our Halloween costumes for this year. I actually saw a couple of you commented, you guys should be Danny and Jon Snow. It was funny, we actually had this plan before that, so here it is! Here's your dragon. Here's one of my little dragons. We got three dragons Lil here. Lil Bill really does look like a dragon to me. Come here. Lil Bill's a look little dragon. Show him her like claw paws. Her claw paws? Oh. I got you. She's got like webbed feet and they're like claws. And she's the alpha actually out of all three dogs, so would she would technically be Drogon. Alrighty guys, comment down below. What are you going to be for Halloween? I like to hear what everyone is and everything like that. And I'll get into the tutorial of my makeup now. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh. Be safe out there. Ooh. <laughs> to start off, I'm going to be taking two shades of my Acti Labs HD Liquid Foundation. I'm going to take the lighter shade and kind of put that down in areas that I want to highlight. Daenerys does have a rounder face than I do. Mine's kind of more oval. So bringing that lighter shade of foundation all the way to the edge of my face, closer to my ears, and just giving a bigger area of that white shade will make my face look rounder. And then the rest of my face, I'm going to be just taking that darker shade that is more my normal color and just applying that wherever I did not apply the lighter shade. Now I'm going to be grabbing my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just over exaggerating that area underneath my eyes. Again, you can see that I pull that concealer a little wider than I normally would if I was going to be just doing my everyday face of makeup that looks best on my bone structure. I'm going to be just taking my Derma Blend setting powder just to apply that over top and make sure everything is nice and set. Then I'm going to pick up my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and I'm just going to be using the shade Subconscious which is a very cool tone. What I'm doing here is not necessarily contouring, I'm just kind of trying to create some shadows on my face to again shape my face more similarly to Amelia Clark's. For blush, I'm going to be picking up my Acti Labs blush palette and let's give myself some of those iconic Daenerys rosy cheeks. To 
contour my nose, I'm going to pick up my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. I'm going to grab the shade Tempted, which is a cool tone kind of taupey color, which again, this whole tutorial, I'm using cooler toned shades because that is going to look most like a natural shadow when I am trying to transform some of my features. Amelia Clark does have a more narrow bridge at the top, which is why I am trying to achieve that look by shadowing in and making myself appear as though I have a narrower bridge. And then she does have a wider nose at the tip, which is why I'm not really touching that part of my nose. I want to leave that and make it look as wide as possible. Let's go ahead and move on to those brows. I'm going to be taking a BH Cosmetics Precision Eyebrow Pencil in the color Ebony, which is very dark. And the main thing I'm going to be doing is definitely making my eyebrows bushier towards the middle and then also close together. Then I'm going to go ahead and make them straighter as well. Daenerys does have very straight eyebrows and she does have a very slight dip kind of in the middle on the top, which you will see me create as well. Now let's work on my eye shape. I'm going to pick up that color Tempted again in my Urban Decay Naked palette. And basically what I'm going to be doing here is shading and kind of trying to reshape my eyes. My eyes are further apart and definitely more almond shaped than Daenerys. So the main goal here is to make my eyes look rounder and closer together. So to do this, I'm going to be just shading kind of on the inner tear duct portion of my eye. Again, bringing it up through the bridge of my nose and that's what's going to give the illusion that my eyes are closer together than they really are. I'm also going to be picking up my Coastal Scents custom eyeshadow palette which I did go ahead and make a full video on this. I'll link it down below if you want to know more. But I'm taking one of my hot pots in the shade Timeless Taupe and here I'm going to be just working that in my crease which I do have hooded eyes so you can see that I'm bringing that crease up higher and I'm really trying to carve out kind of a rounder shaped eyeball by not really bringing it too far past the edge of my eye. Also again kind of working that darker color towards the center. Basically if you're trying to make your eyes look rounder and closer together you do the opposite of a cat eye so you want to keep all of the color towards your nose and not necessarily out towards the edge. Going back in with Tempted, I'm just going to be dragging that underneath my lower lash line, which is also going to help make my eyes look rounder as well. Picking up my Coastal Scents palette again, I'm going to take the color Chamois Nude and I'm just going to be popping that on my lid, making sure I keep that lid color really high to again keep that accentuation of a bigger lid and rounder eye just like Daenerys has. I felt like the bottom of my nose was not looking wide enough so I went in with some more Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just popped that towards the bottom tip of my nose. For eyeliner, I'm actually going to be picking up my brow pencil in that color Ebony. I like to do this sometimes when I want a more natural liner because even a brown eyeliner does not quite look as soft and natural as a brow pencil. So again, to recreate the shape of a rounder eye, I'm going to be focusing a lot of that towards the inner tear duct of my eye and building that up there and just using it to kind of reshape my eyelid shape. Now I'm just going to be curling my lashes and applying some mascara. I didn't really want to use falsies just because if you look at the pictures of Daenerys, she does not really have very long accentuated eyelashes, but I still wanted to curl and do mine just again to make my eyes look bigger and rounder. Lastly, for the lips, I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in the color Earth. 
It's actually a perfect kind of rosy nude color which matches Daenerys's lips and I actually had to underline my top lip just a little bit. Dani does have nice full lips, however her top lip is just a little bit thinner than the bottom. So I completely forgot to film an outro, like an official outro, but here it is. Here's the completed look. So yeah, I guess I'll just say goodbye vlog style. Um, like I said in the beginning, comment down below what you plan to be for Halloween. I would really love to see what y'all are gonna be. And come on, John, come say goodbye. Goodbye. Ooh, Hope you guys like dark costume. Trick or treats, not my feet. Goodbye. And Dracarys.